Welcome to the spoken tutorial on editing curves and polygons in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn how to edit curves and polygons, draw Bezier curve. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. To practice this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of LibreOffice Draw. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit this website. Let us open our root map drawing which we created in the previous tutorial. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. We have learnt how to draw curves and polygons. Now let us learn to edit them. First let us zoom in for a better view. Drag the zoom slider at the bottom of the interface to 100%. Let us now change the shape of the school campus polygon. We will use the edit points toolbar to do this. Now let us enable the edit points toolbar. Go to the view menu and select toolbars. From the submenu, select edit points. Edit points toolbar appears on the standard toolbar. You can drag and place it at a convenient location on the standard toolbar. Right click on the school campus polygon. From the context menu, select points option if not already selected. Click on the drawn polygon. Then click on any one of the corner handles. The edit point becomes visible. All the point related icons are now enabled. Move the cursor on all the edit points. The tooltip shows the name of the edit point. Now select the convert to curve icon. Click on the right edit point. Drag the curve handle to adjust the curve as shown. Next select insert points icon from the edit points toolbar. Move to the draw page. The cursor will turn into a plus sign. Place this plus sign on the left side of the school campus polygon. Press the left mouse button. Then release the button. You have inserted a point. Now click on the point that was inserted. Observe that all the icons in the edit points toolbar are now enabled. Click on the symmetric transition icon. A dotted line appears at the point. Select the dotted control line on the object. Let us drag the control line outwards to change the shape of the polygon. The shape has changed. To exit from the edit points toolbar, click anywhere on the page. Now let's elongate the school campus to the right side. Let us specifically move only the top right corner point. Select the school campus polygon. On the edit points toolbar, click move points. Now let's drag the point to the right. We have changed the shape of the polygon again. Let's insert a text box and type school main gates inside it. Drag and place it at the top of the polygon. Let's also show the side entrance of the school. Let's draw a text box and type school side entrance inside it. Click anywhere on the page. Now let's rotate the text box. Select the school side entrance text box. Right click for the context menu and select position and size option. Position and size dialog box appears. In the box, click on the rotation tab. Change the rotation angle to 270 and click on OK button. Drag the text box to the left edge of the polygon. Look at the reference map again. The next step is to draw directions using arrows. Click on the fit slide to current window icon to see the whole page. From the drawing toolbar, select line ends with arrow. 
Let us move to the drop page and draw the directions. From home, we have to turn right. So click and drag the mouse to the right and then release it. Then go down to the residential complex. Let's draw another line to show this route. Click, drag and release the mouse. Then at the playground, take the right turn and go down. Now go left and then down to reach the school main gates. Draw arrows to reach the school side entrance also. Adjust the arrows if required. Now let's learn about Bezier curves. Bezier curves are used mainly in computer graphics to make curves smoother. You can use these curves to experiment with the shape and size of curves. All curves have a start point and an end point. The points on the curve are referred to as nodes. Let us go back to our root map file. Let's draw a Bezier curve to connect home and commercial complex. From the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to the curve icon. Then select curve option. On the drop page, click on the start point of the root that is home. Keep the left mouse button pressed and drag till the playground. You will see a straight line. Release the mouse button. Now move the pointer to the commercial complex. The line will curve as the mouse moves. Double click at the end point that is commercial complex. We have drawn a curve. Notice that the curve transition is smooth. Now let's edit the points on this curve using the Edit Points toolbar. Click on the start point of the curve. You will see a dotted line with a control point. You can now drag the dotted line to reduce or expand the curve as required. Double click anywhere on the page once you have made the change. We can insert, move or delete points to create a smoother curve. Lastly, let us group all the objects in the map. Press Ctrl plus A keys on the keyboard to select all the objects. From the main menu, select Shape. Then navigate to Group. From the submenu, select Group option. All the objects are now grouped. Switch off the grid by clicking on the display grid icon. Now look at the route map. You can also color the buildings, add roads using lines, add traffic signals and any other detail you require. Here is our sample colored route map. Let us save all the changes made and close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, you have learned to edit curves and polygons. Draw Bezier Curve. Here is an assignment for you. Draw a Bezier Curve. Apply all the options from the Edit Points toolbar on it. Here is another assignment for you. Create the map shown on this slide on your own. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Missal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.